Hey everybody, it's me. Um, tonight I wanted to talk about something that you might not know about me and then about something that I've been examining and thinking about that I'm, I'm a little puzzled. I'm puzzled. I'm like, hmm, hmm. Um, you guys may not know this, but Basil and Beckett and I are all part of the KISS army. Like, we love KISS, right? <laughs> and, um, and we jam out to some KISS, and Beckett likes rock and roll, so we put some KISS on, and we, you know, my husband's from Michigan, so Detroit Rock City, you know, the whole thing. So, anyway, you know how, like, when you're a girl, and rock, there was, you know, maybe a rock song written about you, like, Angie, Angie, or Michelle, my belle, oh, it's a beautiful song about the girl named Michelle, oh, oh, my belle, well, whatever. You know, every girl, you know, girls' names have, like, a rock ballad about them, right? So, well, my name is Beth, and the rock ballad, the love ballad that was written about um, Beth is by Kiss. And so, recently the song has popped up as we've been playing some Kiss around the house, and we, we've been talking about it. And, like, you know, we've been trying to kind of break down the song because... Um, it doesn't really make any sense. Well, I mean, maybe it makes sense, but but just let's just talk about it. Okay, so it goes, Beth, I hear you calling, and I can't come home right now, cause me and the boys are playing, and we just can't find the sound. Right? Okay. Okay. Let's examine just that part of it. All right. So, Beth. I hear you calling, but I just I just can't come home right now. Okay, all right. Now this was back before the days of cell phones, right? So it's not like Peter Chris like had a cell phone tucked in his pocket and bzz, he could feel it vibrating, or it was like ooh ooh ooh, ch -ch -ch, ooh, ooh <laughs> some kind of ringtone that like every time they got in the jam it was like don't you get down now, don't you get down, and they're like. Peter, can you turn your ringer off? Right? No cell phones. No cell phones. So, I got a question. Beth, I hear you calling. Um, I hear you calling. Well, where is she calling? Is she calling, like, the studio? Like, they're in there recording. They're in there recording. He's like, you know, just a few more hours, right? So, I mean, she knows he's going to be there recording. So what is she like calling the recording studio and, and, and like, why is it such a big deal? Does she keep does she keep calling? She want to like <laughs> she, she just keeps hitting Rico ring 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 and they're like who's calling? Who keeps calling? And we, you know the studio times costing this money. Who keeps calling? And Peter's like it's Beth. I know it's Beth. Hold on, I'm just after Beth, you know, I hear you calling, can't come home right now. And the boys are, can't find the sound, and, you know, it's just a few more hours. <laughs> and later in the song, he changes the story completely, and he says, you know, me and the boys have been playing all night, right? You know, so he's changing the story on her. So, of course, she's suspicious, she just keeps calling, maybe she just keeps calling, like, it's been a few hours. Are you done yet? Or then I started thinking maybe they were recording the album in Peter Chris's garage. And so maybe she wasn't like calling on the phone. Maybe she was like, Peter! Peter! <laughs> what are you guys doing out there? Gosh, did you finish recording that stupid song yet? Don't you let that Gene Simmons in our house. Yeah! She's paid her! And he's like, Beth, I hear you going. I can't come home right now. <laughs> like, like, what in the world is that song about? I know it's supposed
supposed to be this beautiful love ballad, but you know what? It just makes Beth out to be like some lonely, <laughs> nagging wife. He's like, because a house just ain't a home. I'm always somewhere else. You're always there alone. I don't know why I'm singing into a pencil. Are you serious, eh? Why is she calling? Why can't they communicate? You know? Is she leaving voicemails? The only song, only song ever written with my name in it. And, you know, the woman's total psycho. Needy, needy, needy psycho. <laughs> Tell me what it means. What does it mean? Where was she calling? Where was she calling? Was she calling, you know, I mean, weren't they on tour? Was she calling, like, the payphone at the auditorium? You know, hear the phone ring. They're like, Chris, it's Beth. Beth again. Hear her calling. Where was she calling? Could you please help me, help me, help me, help me figure out where Beth was calling and why she was so needy? And, I mean, she knew when she got involved with Peter Chris, he was like, you know, drummer. And he was like, drummer for Kiss, hottest band ever. And if you're, if you're a woman, what song was written with your name in it, you know? And does it make any sense? <laughs> Is your female rock song character, you know, sane? Because mine, I don't know. Pretty, pretty much sounds like a crazy needy. Yeah, gonna keep calling you. Gonna call. Cause she better than Peter. You better answer that phone. Peter!